here we are. We're with Sarah Shelburne here. Hi, and Frisco. Frisco. <laughs> and any minute now, James is going to pop through that door. And hopefully Alex gets here before the wares do, but we're just going to keep the camera rolling. Lord of the Rings is on right there. So we're just going to, this is the James cam here. The James cam. And hopefully the Alex cam first, because yeah. I want to have that moment where Alex opens the door. Yeah. That would be so shocking. Hopefully that works out. If not, I'll just open the door and be like, hi, and they'll be like, what? Yeah. What I'm going to do, Sarah, I'm going to scout. So I'm going to okay. go up on the third floor. Okay. I wish I could have walked to because I could give a cool. signal. No, we scared how, like, to code red, code red. You have a dilemma. They're yeah. coming. They're coming. <laughs> so if Alex isn't here, you can open the door. Okay. Sounds good. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to knock. Oh, really sorry. Great. Really weird. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> you guys haven't figured it out. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's a cool process. <laughs> popular and all of your best friends love it, but also oh, yeah. one that we think you're going to love once you see it. I'm sure I will. I just haven't had time. And now yeah. I do. Yep, that's right. We will so, make you <laughs> sit. You've been lost. It. It's your birthday. Or you will yeah. die. And as as a ropes, tie <laughs> that's why I bought the sword. Oh, you sit James, there. Just, James doesn't need, need to be tied <laughs> and roped down. I think he'll enjoy it immensely. But that's we have a now. couple gifts here, and also we have letters here that all of your best friends wrote you, so you can take those home and enjoy them. Again, you can save the letters till you get home and you can read them. Or you use this small letter. But two gifts there, That's one's for me and one's from Sarah. This is the one from Sarah. That's the one for me. So mm -hmm. I'll get the camera out and I'll... Oh! Here you go. Get the, 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 the people. Should we pour all this chair Yes, it is. Here? Oh. <laughs> awesome. She was in on this too. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you that I've talked to her mm -hmm. uh, until now. Okay. But I have, and she's wonderful. She's awesome. Phoebe is my pen. Set your drink phone. Uh, Whoever sits over here. There's Alex. And uh, Sarah, James, uh, John. I think that's five, isn't that like two? Wrong one. <laughs> okay, so before we get into the trilogy, James, James has a couple gifts here. Right. Indulge. Um, I shall. <laughs> All right, James is opening so his gift from Sarah. Oh, you know me well. I know. I was like, okay. Where's it more? Barnes and Noble. Like, no, um, like books. Yes. Yes. Books together. James. 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 <laughs> well, there's books. All right, James is opening his gift from me. Wow. The 
WESB, this was 18th birthday, audio on cassette celebration, written and performed and produced by Wes Brooks, 2014. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> that takes me back. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Wes and I used to record tapes and give them back and forth to each other all through when we were growing up. So this is kind of a nod to that. Mm -hmm. Also payback for the CDs I gave you. For <laughs> exactly. Huh. Exactly. Another one for He's the been... second volume. Yes. Yeah. He's been working on those for days and it's so funny because you'll hear him in the room it's like he's, he's recording with these voices and <laughs> I can't wait to go home and listen to it <laughs> all right yeah can't wait to hear what you think of it uh, I had a blast it was tremendous fun I had way too much fun cassette, of course, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cassette, yeah. <laughs> and, and he got the last Package of cassettes in probably in town. I thought <laughs> so. Walgreens, they had Walgreens. one set yeah. of five. Yeah. I just think it's John, you want a video? That was, sure. There was wow. even a set of five. We got the last VHSs <laughs> and the last cassette tapes in the city of Peoria. I think so. I think so. I'll tell you the story. So originally, I was going to use a cassette tape that was an old broadcast tape from WCIC, and Dad brought a few of those home, and very old, or about. 20 years old at least, mm -hmm. and my dad had some worries that they might not be as durable and wouldn't last as long, and, and so he really recommended that I go with a brand new tape, and I thought, well, nobody sells cassettes anymore, where am I going to find a brand new tape? The only way to find one, I would think, is online, and that's it. I can't go down the street and pick one up anymore. Um, but regardless, I called Walmart. And I asked him, do you have any cassette tapes? And if you don't have any in the aisles, are there, are there any cassette tapes in the, uh, the backstage area, so to speak, the employees only area, in a dusty cardboard box somewhere? And if you discover that, maybe you'll find the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> While you're did you tell them that? I did. I did. And so they thought I was, you know, kind of weird. <laughs> and, uh, and so they put me on hold. Okay, so okay, we'll, we'll be right back. I was on hold for 20 minutes. <laughs> and during that time, I thought, well, this is great. They're probably going through all of the, you know, all of the cardboard boxes and dusting everything off. And there, there's dozens of them all working to find me the last five pack of cassette tapes. 20 minutes later, hello? Yeah, I've been on hold. I'm hoping to hear about if you have any cassette tapes or not. And they say, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any. <laughs> was it a different person? It was a different person. So, oh my so wonder what you know, the other person they're off, you know, who knows You won't believe like, this kid that called. <laughs> so then I called um, a local record store and I asked them if they knew if if they sold cassette tapes or if they knew where cassette tapes might be sold and I thought, well, somebody at a record store more of a traditional, you know, vinyl and things. They might use my expertise. So one of them said, well, the last place, we don't sell cassette tapes, but the last place I saw any cassette tapes being sold was Walgreens. But they don't sell them anymore. And I thought, well, that's a lead. I'm going to call them anyway. So I called Walgreens. <laughs> I asked them, using these exact words, and using recycling the same joke I used with Walmart, do you have a five pack of the last five pack of cassette tapes in stock or in the back somewhere. And he said, well, let me check. And he finds the last five pack of audio cassette tapes. Wow. Literally. Cool. I mean five. <laughs> and the last one, my exact wording. That's cool. And I was just, you know, being, uh, I just wanted one cassette tape or two or, you know, something. But literally, the last and the five pack was the exact same phrasing and everything. <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow! Yeah, that is incredible. Yeah, yeah. So I've got, I've got four other ones. <laughs> so enjoy that. I will. Uh, maybe. Okay, which which was yours, uh, Jane? To be the. It's a thrill. Day same time. Who says no?
just heard the clutter on your regular radio dial, but you've blasted off into a new dimension. This is Radio on Cassette, WESP. Oh yeah! The party has just begun, and hey, it's somebody's birthday. For the first time since circa 2009, it's a cassette tape from yours truly. This is WESP Radio's edition of James Ware's 18th birthday celebration cassette. <laughs> this half hour, it's a whole heart of fun winding your way from one cassette deck to another. Coming up, a sneak peek at the all-new Outer Space Stories. Then get a load of the top 10 best and most loved themes of James and Wax. Hosted by Wes, Robbie Jr., and yours truly, and more! And it's only Side A, folks! Alright, James has just witnessed his first six hours of The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so has John. Yep. Didn't feel like six hours, look at me that. What did it feel like? I felt like it was a lot shorter than that. It went really fast. Mm. Yeah. It was very well done. I was impressed by how well it. Uh, a class act. I, re I really liked some of the sound design elements, how they deadened the sound during more dramatic scenes mm -hmm. uh, to increase the dramatic effect. A lot of films don't use sound design. They use sound in, in ways that are very, very effective, such as mm -hmm. some of the reverb that they put yeah. on some of it. and. And one scene, excellent example of the sound design of the film, how effective it is, in the first film, when they're escaping the mines from the fire creature. The monster. Yeah. And the orcs are firing their, uh, their arrows. Mm -hmm. And it's, as you said, everything's kind of toned down, and we've got uh, just a little... Yeah, and, I like um, that. Yeah, it's just so you still knew it was happening, but you knew the character's attention was not on mm -hmm. the arrows. It was exactly, on. yeah. Gandalf is just and that his that dude. kind of use of sound that is so varied and so interesting is extremely compelling and it engaging. Is. And I respect these films um, a great deal because of the sound design, mm -hmm. amongst everything else. So I'm thrilled that you that you enjoyed it. I did. I said to James before rolling here, it would have been. Personal tragedy if James didn't didn't enjoy it. <laughs> it's gonna be a good week or so until I finish processing the whole thing. Whenever we get able to give any more yeah. intelligence comments on exactly how mm -hmm. I feel about it. And then you won't be able to completely give your thoughts until you've seen the third movie too. True. John, how about mm -hmm. you? What are your thoughts? I liked it. I mean, um, I figured I'd like it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Can't wait to watch the third one. So hopefully we can determine a time next year. Soon. This is possible. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, signing off here well, thank for you very James's much for 18th birthday surprise party.